Hey, welcome back to Cat's Bookend. I have more space here now. I don't know if you noticed in the last video, but I have a bigger area now to work in, a bigger space. I even have a different camera. It's not my phone. So I'm kind of excited about that. I can fit more here, probably even more. Look. See that? Way more space. But anyway, the tag that I'm doing now is the Netflix tag. And I want to apologize. I humbly apologize because I forget who gave me permission to do this tag. I loved it. I asked the person and they said, sure, go ahead and do it. But like I explained in the other video, things kept preventing me from even getting to do videos and I kept pushing it back and pushing it back and now that I'm able to do it I totally forget I don't even know which of my um, subscriptions to go look at to find out who it is um, so I am so sorry if this is you please please forgive me hopefully next time I do a tag you know I won't wait so long I won't have to wait so long and I will definitely write down. I write it down this time. Okay? Live and learn. I thought I would remember, but I really should have written it down. So, sorry, and thank you for giving me permission to do this Netflix tag. Okay, so let's get right to it. <clears throat> Question number one. Recently watched the last book you finished reading. That's this. Where'd you go, Bernadette? I just finished it. Okay? Good book, too. Top picks. A book or books that have been recommended to you based on books you have previously read. Well, I've read Thomas Tessier and Amazon recommended to me based on reading Thomas, Thomas Tessier and other horror novels that I've read. They recommended The Night Walker. And I ordered it and I'm going to read it and I can't wait because I like him. He's, he's a good horror writer, one of my faves. Recently, now that was top picks. Recently added, the last book you bought. This was the last book that I bought. After I got my thrift books and book outlet hauls done, I went to Barnes & Noble and I bought Harley Quinn graphic novel. This is a bunch of different Harley Quinn stories. Popular on Netflix. Books that everyone knows about. Two that you've read and two that you have no interest in reading. Okay, so I'll talk about the two that I've read that are well known. Because, because I've seen other people talk about this on BookTube and other reviews on BookTube of this. Okay, this is The Dinner by Herman Koch. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But, um... This was a psychological suspense, and the people in it were pieces of crap. Um, the whole way through the book, I kept waiting for somebody to get theirs. And somebody did, but in a manner that people that I didn't like got what they wanted and got away with it. Um, but it did engage me. I wanted to read it all the way through, and it evoked a lot of feelings in me. So this is definitely worth a read. I just, I hated everybody in it. Okay. And then another one that everybody knows about and everybody's been reviewing is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I read this. Okay. Now the ones that I have no intention of reading are The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Nope. Um, not a fan of Twilight. She wrote Twilight. And I didn't hear that this book was, this, uh, I don't know. I didn't hear good things about it. So, no. I will not read it at all. And then I will not read um, the latest J.K. Rowling novel. I've never had any interest in Harry Potter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Don't lynch me. Okay? I think you're awesome if you like it. You're great. Okay? But I just, I don't care for it. So, I didn't want to read this one. Okay. Now next, there's a lot. This is a big list, okay? Comedies. A funny book. Well, 
there's no picture for this that I can show you and there's no book because um, a while back I sent this book to my brother and I cannot find graphics of it anywhere online. I've tried. I cannot. And it was called W, The First 100 Days. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. I laughed so hard the whole way through it. I mean, my stomach was hurting. And I kept picturing Will Ferrell from Saturday Night Live as the voice while I was reading it. Because it was like the diary, the journal of... Uh, George W. Bush, the first 100 days he was in office, and yeah, I kept hearing Will Ferrell's voice, and that made it even funnier. It's a good book. You should try to get that. If you want to laugh, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like him. I certainly am not a fan of George W. Bush, but this was a funny book. This was very, very humorous, and it made him look like a goof. It was great. Check it out. Okay, now... <clears throat> Dramas. A character who is a drama king or queen. Well, that would have to be Knight of the Gosling. I'm going to have to have a picture put up there because um, I know I reviewed this. This is in my Horror Recommends. I'll put that link down there. But the thing is, is that I already gave that book away. So I can't show the book to you anymore, but I definitely can get the exact picture of the exact cover. So there you have it. She was definitely a drama queen. She felt like everything should go her way. She felt like she was holier than thou. She felt like God wanted her to have everything and anything. And she felt like she could hurt people. And it was all right that God would say it was okay because she was getting what she wanted. And the tantrums she would throw and the things she would do, she would lie to get her way. She lied about her father and everything else. So she was definitely a big drama queen. So that's Night of the Gosling. Okay. Animated. A book with cartoons on the cover. Dr. Katz, Professional Therapist. This is illustrated, but there's also writing in it. This is supposed to be like, you found the book, the little journal or appointment book that he uses in his doctor's office, um, and you found it and you're reading it. It's hilarious. It's even funnier than W, the first 100 days that I just talked about. It's even funnier. And um, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but it was an animated show on um, Comedy Central called Dr. Cat's Professional Therapist, and this is his Me at a Glance journal all in one organizer for the most important person in your life and it's like you got a hold of his organizer and you're getting insight into his life funny okay and then watch it again a book or book series that you want to reread I don't reread but I would reread this as a matter of fact I'm going to soon very soon Okay, I don't know if you can see it. I see there's a glare there, but this is the book. This is the cover. Dr. Katz, Professional Therapist. And um, the guy that's the voice behind Dr. Katz, he had a lot to do with the writing of this book. Okay. Documentaries. A nonfiction book that you would recommend to everyone. Well, I put this on this list, but now I don't know if I would recommend it to everyone because I feel like if you are extremely liberal. You might hate this book and take it personally and get angry. But I feel like, I mean, I know some people that are, um, well, first of all, look, I'm not all one party. I see some good points in the conservative, okay, and I see some good points with the liberal. Um, but he really, okay, he gets information about people. He tells the truth about what they've done. And you just read about what they've done. And you can draw your own conclusions because, you know, just because you are on one side doesn't mean that everything that side does or everybody from that side is the best thing. You know? You don't have to always agree with conservative if you're conservative. You don't have to always agree with liberal if you're liberal. Um, that's one of the things that I just, 
I don't understand. It's like people feel like they have to do, they think one way. No matter what happens, they have to always believe that their party is 100% right. That hasn't been the case for me, and I don't even think that that's realistic. But I don't want to get into a big political discussion here. I don't want to offend anybody. I'm just trying to say uh, how the book is, you know, to get you prepared. You're just going to read about different people with different opinions that happen to be lib liberal and things that they've done and he believes I mean he's honest I can see why people get pissed at him I mean he'll come right and say right out and say what his opinion is and then he thinks these people are stupid um, but you know I was shocked at a lot of the things some of these people did and I was like wait a minute I don't know but it's called um, 100 people who are ruining America that's what it's called. No, Screwing Up America, excuse me. 100 People Who Are Screwing Up America. And yes, the way he puts it, I know I'm only hearing one side of the story, but it does sound like they're kind of screwing up America, some of the things that they've chosen to do in this book. That's my opinion. Please don't hate me. I don't hate you. That's just my explanation of the book. It's by Bernard Goldberg, who I know a lot of people can't stand, but I totally enjoyed the book. Okay. Um, action and Adventure. Amazonia. I believe I've talked about this before. I usually don't read this kind of action and adventure, but I picked this up out of desperation one day and couldn't put it down. It was incredible. Non-stop action. Non-stop one thing to the other. First this would happen, then they're safe, and then boom, something else. Constant. And then, new releases. A book that just came out, or will be coming out soon, that you can't wait to read. Okay, well that's Under a Watchful Eye by Aaron Neville. And um, I cannot wait to get that. Aaron Neville, I just said Aaron Neville. Oh, why did I say that? It is Adam Neville, okay? He wrote The Ritual. Um, so, Adam Neville, and it sounds really, really good. He's being watched by people. People are plotting against him, and he doesn't even know what he did or who these people are or what's going on. It sounds good. It sounds awesome. And like I said, I like this author a lot. So I'm really, really looking forward to Under a Watchful Eye. I hope I can get it soon by Adam Neville. Okay, so I hope that you got some insight from some of these books. Maybe you might think, oh, I want that one. Or no, that's not for me. That, that probably sucks. I just hope I gave you some insight into it. I love talking about books. Um, that's fun for me because it's fun for me to read books. I'm a nerd. Don't I sound like a nerd? Yep, I most certainly sound like a nerd. <laughs> okay, thanks for stopping by.